Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantal and I hope you're doing really well today. Last year I did an autumn sketchbook spread and I really love how that one turned out. So today I thought we could get cozy, grab a cup of tea and we're going to be doing a winter sketchbook session. When I tell you I don't have a single plan for this spread, I really mean it. I've got my watercolors, neo colors, poskas, gouache. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be on Pinterest to try and find some cute winter ideas and I'll be using my Cardi fat book. So let's get started. I've got my watercolors, but I am going to want to have them quite separate from the gouache. I also got my box of washi tapes because I feel like I want to start with popping them on the page because I always leave it till the very end. I think I've got a few winter pieces that we can use and I definitely want to get some more winter pieces. I'm actually working on a little bit of a haul now, which is super exciting. The neo colors and poskas I might pop to one side because they'll be on top of things. And the gouache I might just pop right on the other side. I'll use it when it comes to it. Honestly, that's a lot flatter than I was expecting. This sketchbook, you might have seen in my earlier videos, like it was impossible to use. Now that I'm like halfway, perfectly flat, I love it. I might actually not skip a page then so I can try and make it last as long as possible. I like it. I might just pop a sheet of paper behind here then. Kitchen roll will do. I just have peach toba on the other side of that and I really don't want that to be ruined <laughs> at all. Okay, we've got this. We need to pick out some wash. She's. I'm pretty happy with this setup. I think it's really cute. I hope you can see everything okay. Let's see if I've got any winter themed kind of washi tape. I have my eye on quite a few but I don't know how many I actually currently have. I'm really excited to get some more because even though I have some washi tape I don't really have tons and a lot of them are very similar themes. We've got like an underwater planet kind of one. That one's blue I guess. We can't be too picky. Oh I mean we could do one of the floral ones. One of these kind of styles which I really love. I thought one of these blue ones had snowflakes on but I might have been wrong. It might be clouds. I really love these ones. I don't know if they fit the theme though. I haven't actually used them yet because I'm so precious over them. I should really just use them. Oh here we go. I said I saw a snowflake so it's whales and snowflakes but you know what? I'm gonna take it. Oh this one could be winter just because the colour theme and there's mountains. Okay this one I really love. It's really gorgeous. It's quite wide, so I'm not sure. I did think about having washi along the top and bottom of each of them. I don't know if that would work having it all the same theme or whether they'd want to be like ripped here as well or go over the spend. I'm not sure. I like this one though. It's really pretty. I might just pop it on one side of the page actually. I'll have to cut it to the same shape as the edges, but I'll do that afterwards. Now the question is, do I want to do it the entire way across or not? No, I think that will use up too much space. I'd like to do a nice landscape and then I'd like to do some cozy pieces, I think is the kind of vibe that we're going for. So maybe I'll put a strip of washi down here so they kind of alternate. Some of them are quite small, so I might use these for accents later on. I'll pop them aside. Yeah, let's go for the one with snowflakes. It does actually say the word snowflakes there I don't know if you can see whilst the Sun's disappeared let's have a look on Pinterest the Sun's kind of doing whatever it wants today so I apologize if it changes the lighting drastically okay so I've typed in winter we've got a lot of snow which is kind of difficult to do with watercolor but I mean I'd be up for giving it a go I do actually have a winter mood board already oh I love those shoes yes they're really good the deer is cute and I think for the first one I will do just a cute landscape like this a kind of snowy landscape maybe that one I'm just gonna pop some water down I'm gonna try and keep it in a bit of a border as well. I don't mind it looking a little bit messy though because I mean it's handmade paper and it's very textured so it automatically is gonna look a little bit messy. I'm not gonna lie, I do really struggle with trees, so I'm not really sure how it will go, but I'll give it a shot. I think it's important that the most yellow parts really show up. So when we glaze over the light, that will be a lot better, I think. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really done snow in a long while. I'm just gonna add quite a bit of 
blue for the shadows, like a blue grey, and then I'm just adding a little bit of yellow that's kind of reflected from the sun. I don't have much of a plan to be honest, I would like the painting to look quite loose so I'm hoping it will kind of, I'll be able to fix it somehow. Honestly I might leave this to dry now and then come back to it and we'll see what we can do. I think if I define some of the leaves a little bit more and add some rays of light it might look okay. Let's see if there's anything cute we can do, I would like to use the neo colours if possible. Or we could do like um, a mug of hot chocolate, that could be really cute I think. Oh these look so good. If I do it in neo colours, I should be able to go over the page, which could be really lovely. I'm gonna change the colour of the mug, I think, because white on white isn't gonna work. I'm thinking of red for the cup, probably this one, and ochre for the hot chocolate. And, I mean, we're gonna have to go brown, really, aren't we? Yeah, let's give this a go. I also want to fit it all just above the tape. I feel like that could be really cute, so... I'm gonna need to use a lot of this one because the hot chocolate is literally just falling off. Just pretend you didn't see me change that then. If I add the marshmallows, maybe that would be best. I like that, I think that kind of works. And then there's like a marshmallow here. There's one that's kind of absolutely covered in chocolate here. So we'll do a bit of a trail like that. And then the chocolate kind of continues here. I mean, really, we can just sort of make it our own, but I would like to have a pretty good base. Then we've got a marshmallow here. I have changed it a little bit. I don't think the marshmallows need to be completely accurate. It's a lot bigger than I was planning. So honestly, I might actually make the whipped cream even higher because if we're already using the space, we might as well just go a little bit extreme. I will say I am very new to Neo Colors. I've only used them a handful of times and I don't really know what my style is with them. I don't really know what I like to do. I don't really put too much thought into these kind of sessions. I literally just go with the flow. I think that is the most fun way to do a sketchbook spread. I did want to do something over the page join, so I'm really glad that I did this. I'm thinking we're going to decorate the page with snowflakes. I like to add some kind of stars or something around a page just to really tie the piece together. I think that might be a little bit dark. I'm going to add a little bit of white because we do still want there to be a bit of a highlight. I think we've got it a little bit more accurate there though and I think, oh, that actually works really well for the whipped cream. We should do something like that maybe for the marshmallows just so that they don't lose their white. There actually is making them a little bit of a kind of off-white cream, which I don't mind. I think it probably would look a little bit more realistic if it's like that. Oh, I didn't add the round bit that's kind of here. I don't know if it's really needed to be honest. I don't know, I guess I'll do it. I think this will probably transfer a little bit, but I guess it transfers like onto itself, so it's not too bad. Oh, I just had a really cool idea. I wonder if I have any stickers that would work, you know? I think mean, that's cute. I think we should make a start on the actual cup now. Oh, my hand has smudged it. Oh no. I hadn't planned to use brown for lines, but honestly, I think it might kind of tie the piece together. I don't know how I'm going to make the marshmallows look a bit like marshmallows now, though, with the red. Does he anything? I guess a lot of them are kind of going to be covered in chocolate, so it's not too bad. So next, I'm going to do the red, I think. I do really love the look of the Neo colours, but I do think it's hard to make them look good. I just feel like if you don't really know what you're doing with them, it just ends up looking kind of messy. The problem is once you've got white down, it's really difficult because it sort of blends with it. It doesn't add it like it would without the white. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. What are we thinking? Has this worked? Has this not worked? Honestly, like, I have mixed feelings. Even now looking at it, I'm kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of cute. I think it probably had more potential. That will do though. Let's go and find some fun stickers. I've got this sticker from Mel's Pencils, which would fit absolutely perfectly, but I kind of want to save it for a sketchbook cover, but how perfect would this have been? Yes, that's exactly what I'm after. I think there'll be some snow themes. How can I flip through this? 
you can kind of see so there's a couple of snow ones like that one's really cute i think i might go for that one actually over the other one just because it has a hint of color in it let's pop this one i think it has to be in one of these two corners i'm really hoping this will go as i've planned in my head but i honestly have no idea like trees i'm not great with trees i think it could be really cute actually if we go slightly off maybe Oh no, I did the right to left thing again. Every time, honestly. <laughs> I think I might have to wait for this to dry before adding the yellow. There's a lot more green than I thought there would be. I might just add a tiny bit of green gold just to bring back some of that yellow. I'm just going to add a bit of a darker brown here. I'm really tempted to add the yellow now, now that I've got it on my brush, but I'm, I know that would just create like horrible smudges. Are you ready for the light rays that might just ruin everything? Honestly, I've not done light rays before. I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'm probably going to glaze a little bit of yellow just over each of the light rays again, but I want to move on to something else. On this side, we're going to need a little bit of washi tape to try and bring the piece together and also some snowflakes dotted about to really try and bring it together. But I think we're going to go to my winter mood board and do the one of the girl with the shoes. This one, I think it's so pretty. Guess he's kind of crazy and going straight in with watercolor paint. Maybe a little bit further down, maybe a little bit like that. I don't know, I think that's pretty okay. Now I need to somehow make tartan. I think it kind of has potential if I can get all the details right. Something else kind of cute now. Oh, we could do this deer. Even though this is a massive brush, because it comes to a really fine point, I think this will be good. This is my one from Zen Art Supplies. You can see my review on my channel. I can leave it down below if you're interested. But I love mop brushes when they come to a fine point like this. I'm thinking possibly, oh no, because they've got antlers. So I was thinking of putting the deer there and then I remembered the antlers would cut into everything. We could try to do that. I mean, the problem is the dress is cream, so I would have to make it more like a yellow. The dress will kind of go in a bit like that. And then we've got the person. And then obviously we've got the head here, I guess. This one is kind of crazy. I don't know if it will actually work. Yeah, I'm making the dress a little bit more yellow just so that it shows. I'm thinking we're just going to do the deer as a bit of a silhouette, maybe. And then we could do a little hat in the corner. First half of this video was so well organized and now it's just like pure chaos. Better add a head now. I feel like I've just kind of created goat ears, if I'm honest. Like, does this not look like a goat to you? And then this one is going to have to disappear, unfortunately. Like, the more I add to it, the worse I'm making it look, because I'm just making it bigger and bigger. I'm just looking for a cute bobble hat, really. That one's quite nice. Oh yeah, that's quite cute actually, I see it now. I'll add the lines and stuff afterwards. This random gal, do you have faith that I'm going to somehow pull this together? Because I don't. I think I might just like simplify it a little bit really. I mean it kind of looks like hair, but I definitely need to make it more red. For now, I'm going to continue adding patterning and then I'll probably do the skin tone, maybe in another wash. Okay, that looks a bit more like a person, I'm a little bit happier with that. So for the shoes, we could possibly use a gel pen for the circles, but I think the laces should definitely be brown and we can do that now. You know, I'm just going to do it a little bit simpler, actually. Otherwise, I'm going to be here ages. You know, this tartan hasn't worked, but it's so difficult to do. Don't really know how to fix it at this point, so I'm just going to add slightly darker bits here to show, I don't know, depth. I'm just going to add the glaze that I said about. 
I will be adding snowflakes as well. I think I'm going to do it like the same pattern as this washi that we used. I'm trying to add some kind of snow dotted about, but I don't know if that kind of comes across. I'm just adding a little bit of like blue shadow and then I'll add a little bit of yellow as well. I don't know, I kind of get to this stage where I just sort of want to finish something and I'm kind of at that now. So I think I'm just going to sort of try and finish off. Do you know what we could do? We could use a little bit of white. Try and replicate like the snow that's on the deer. Does that look like snow? I want to add snowflakes, but I'm thinking of adding a little bit more masking tape. Maybe, maybe this one. This one could work. Oh, I like it there actually. It's really hard to make it even though because obviously it's got like this lovely edge along the paper so what would look different? I feel like this one maybe would tie the entire piece together but this one I don't think I've used before. I've popped it there, I can't make my mind up. Now I want to add some really cute snowflakes that kind of look like the ones on the washi tape so I'm going to use just like purples and blues. And that's the spread all done. I really hope you like it. I'll show you everything up close now. Which one is your favourite? Honestly, I think the cup is actually my favourite, which is really surprising because I'm so new to Neo colours. I love this snowflake here. I think this is definitely the best one. I think this is a really cute spread and it really gets across the theme of winter. I really hope you've enjoyed watching and if you have, please leave a like and subscribe to let me know that you'd like some more content like this. I really enjoy doing these sketchbook sessions, so I really hope you like them. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you on Sunday for a new video. Bye bye!